I have seen many people struggling to use hugging face models on local systems or even on the Google Colab because most of us do not have the systems with good GPUs and finally we end up facing memory related issues even if we use the Google Colab for the free GPU then there also we have a limitation of 15 GB so considering these things in this particular video I will show you some small models and how we can use them in the Google Colab and even there I will not use the GPU which is provided free by Google so let's get started now so first of all we will open a new notebook in Google Colab like this so I have opened this and I have renamed this now we will open the hugging face website so we will type huggingface.co and here we will go to the model section so here I will look for a model which we can use so in the left panel we will go to the NLP section and here I will filter out the models based on text classification because I am going to cover the examples for the sentiment classification so for the sentiment classification we need the models for the text classification so I will click on this and all the models for the text classification will come here and here we will look for our model so we will use this particular model why I have selected this model because it has so many downloads and it has got a quite good stars as well so I will open this model in a new tab now I will come back to our notebook so first of all we will select our runtime so we will click on this runtime then we will say change runtime so here I will keep this CPU for this particular video but if you want to change this so you can use this T4 GPU as well but for now I will keep this CPU and click save now first of all in order to use this particular model we will install the transformers library so we will write here pip install transformers ok let's run this ok so this is successfully installed now from this transformers we will import the pipeline method so we will say from transformers import pipeline ok let's run this as well ok so this is also completed now we will call this pipeline method so we will say classifier equals to pipeline and here we will say text classification so this is our task so how can we know the exact task name so for that we have this particular web page uh, which is provided by hugging face so here all the tasks are present so from here we can use our relevant task so we are currently using this text classification and here also we can see this is alias for sentiment analysis so that's why for sentiment analysis use case I am using this text classification and I have filtered the models based on text classification here so I'll go back to the notebook and here now we will uh, provide our model so I will say model equals to and the model identifier so we will copy this and we will paste it here now let's run this as well okay so this is also executed successfully now we will evaluate our prompt using this classifier so we will say classifier and inside this we will provide our prompt so let's say I am saying I absolutely love this new phone the camera quality is amazing amazing ok so let's now run this so we have got the output which is positive and the score is 99.99% so which is correct let's try one another prompt so I'll copy this and I will say one more code and here I will replace this and I will say this movie was so boring I almost 
fell asleep okay let's run this as well so this has negative sentiment and score is again approx 99.99% so till now it is all good so currently we are just uh, putting our prompt into this classifier and we are evaluating this but let's say we want to create some ui application out of this so we want to convert this into a ui application and for that we will use gradio so first of all we will install gradio and for that we will write pip install gradio let's run this Okay so this is successfully installed now first of all we will import this gradio import gradio as gr let's say and we will also import the transformer so we will say from transformers import pipeline and here we will write the entire code so so first of all we will define one method which will be Uh, let's say the predict sentiment okay and uh, we will take some prompt and in the output we will say we will return some uh okay so we will define the classifier as well so first to let's define the classifier so classifier will be same so let's copy that so this was our classifier okay so the model is this and we are using for text classification task so here we will copy this classifier and inside this classifier we will pass our text whatever text we will get on the ui that will be passed to this particular function and then we will pass that into the classifier and whatever output we will get so that will be in the form of list and from that we will take the first element so like we can see here as well so the output will be like this and we have to take the first element in the final output so now finally we will create the interface using this gradio so we will say gr dot interface and inside that first of all we will pass the function which we want to call so that will be this predict sentiment so i'll copy this then the next thing will be our inputs so i'll say inputs equals to and that will be in the text form then there will be outputs so those also will be in the text form so for now we are keeping this in the text form and later on we will change this when we will improve this particular code and at last we will launch this okay so let's run this Okay so our UI application is ready now so here also we can test for our prompts and it has given us one link which will be valid for the 72 hours so we can open this as well and here we can put our prompts so here also we can put our prompts and submit this and we will get the output here so let's use the same Uh, prompts so let's copy from the above so let's copy this and i'll put here so we have got the same output here so let's now improve a little bit this particular uh, ui so instead of text we can improve this as the text box so we can say like this can be the multiple input so this will be inside this list so inside this list we will provide gr dot text box and inside that we will pass one label so the label will be whatever we want to display there so 
so let's say we want to say insert prompt here and uh, we want to restrict the lines as well so let's say we want to keep it as top five five lines so this was our input and in same way we will have our outputs so i will just copy this and i'll say this will be our outputs and i will remove this so here the label will be different so i'll say output sentiment will be here and let's keep the lines as 3 and we can also give the title as well uh, so let's say the title equals to my app okay so let's run this okay so we have made some mistake here okay so it should be actually small b yeah it's good now it is executed it is loading now we have got our input and output or rather we can keep the same size as well so that it will look something nice for now let's go ahead with this only so i'll copy the prompt from here and i will paste it here and submit so we have got the output here so let's use some other model from the hugging face so i'll go to the hugging face now and and here let's use some other so let's use this one so i'll copy i will open this and i will copy this and i will go back to our notebook and here i will change the model so let's paste this and let's run this so it will download the model in our environment okay so our app is ready now so again we will open this or even we can use this particular ui as well so i'll provide the prompt here so let's say i'm saying i am not good okay so this is negative sentiment and the score is around 88.5 let's change this a little bit no i am good so this is positive which is correct and it is having the 85% score So here in this video I have shown you using the text classification models now in the same fashion you can filter out the models for other tasks as well from the hugging face website so from here you can filter out some for some other tasks like for the question answering or the summarization or text generation and you can try out these models and after that let me know if you face any issues or you need a separate videos for these models and these use cases now do hit the like button if this video was useful to you and to learn new things related to the latest technology do subscribe the channel